ogun mo so gbogbo mojugun omo ogun telu do omo afogoja ogbo ye le mo so ni omo afogun se wo se ogbo mo so omo ajilete bo mo ajilete baji ki fi se aje won ni won lo ogbo mo se lo lojo kan ija omo ajilete le lojo kan irin esu oja be le ni kan ran jeje lo ma ajilete wa se aje kiri ogbo mo se lo ni ka pa ibi mona ka se bi kayo omo ajilete la binu fufu ti bi ni lorun egbe won ojo ogbo mo so ilu akikanju ilu ta gbe nje ka ka to mu ko yan gan ilu ako ni to gbe ori ele mo so wolu ogbo ori e kan sagila gila omo aji fo be ogbo mo ra dogun ogbo mo so n ba iso re olo fe se je omo ajilete lo fe ri ni o wa so fun ni ogbo mo so omo aji mo ta ba o Welcome back to our series on Mallua Diatata, where we explore Yoruba cities and towns. On today's episode, we will be exploring Ogumasho, a prominent city in Oyo State, southwestern Nigeria, known for its rich history, cultural heritage, and significant agricultural and economic activities. Founded in the mid 17th century by Ogunola, a brief hunter, Ogumasho has grown to become a major urban center in Nigeria. Ogumashio was established around 1650 by Ogunola, the hunter who settled in the area. The city gained prominence during the 19th century as a refuge for people fleeing the Fulanese invasion, boosting its population and cultural diversity. The current song of Ogumashio is Obagandi Afolabi Olaoye, Orumogege the Third, who has been on the throne since 2023. The palace of the song of Ogumashio is a key landmark serving as the residence of the traditional ruler and a symbol of the city's heritage. Another significant site is the Heroes Arcade, which honors notable figures in Ogumosho's history and provides a glimpse into the city's past. Ogumosho's population is approximately 656,000 in 2024. It is the second largest city in Oyo State and also among the most populated in Nigeria. Although the principal inhabitant of the city are the Yoruba people, there are many people from other parts of Nigeria and other West African countries who are residents of the city. Ogumasho is connected by roads from major cities such as Ilorin, Oshobo, and Ibadan. The city has about 257 surrounding villages and emerging towns, which amalgamated to the rulership of Song. The major economy in the land is agriculture, as cashew plantations are widely distributed across the land. In addition, mango plantations are widely distributed too. Ogumosho is one time the largest planter of cassava across the globe. One of the intriguing historical sites in Ogumosho is Ogunjali. Ale Jayola Bayewu won Alao, the 11th king of Ogumosho, established this monument shrine to fortify the city against invaders. He enlisted the most outstanding herbalist and magician of the era to create a powerful spiritual defense. This fortification was so effective that any plans to attack Ogumosho will either be revealed to the town or cause disagreements among the enemies before the war could begin. If invaders manage to enter, the spirit will drive them out. This powerful defense system helped protect Ogumosho during the turbulent 19th century. However, some believe that Ogun Ojalu also has adverse effects, claiming it prevents the town from developing and receiving good things due to internal disagreements that towards positive plans. In terms of marketplaces, Ojajagun is a key market where locals and visitors can find the varieties of food from fresh produce to traditional crafts. It is a central hub of commerce and daily life in Ogumosho. Aji Market is another popular spot known for its wide range of products, including clothing, food items, and household goods. Ogumosho is home to several important educational centers that contribute to its learning environment. Dadoki Akintola University of Technology, Lautech, stands out as one of Nigeria's top institutions, offering a variety of programming, science, engineering, and technology. Bowen University, a private university established by the Nigeria Baptist Convention, also enriches the city with a diverse academic program and a strong focus on research and development. The Nigeria Baptist Theological Seminary plays a crucial role in theological education and training, adding to the city's educational diversity. 
Recently, the federal government of Nigeria approved the establishment of Federal Polytechnic in Ayede, a nearby town, which will soon begin its learning and research activities. Additionally, Ogumashia hosts the Federal Government College and the Nigerian Levis Secondary School, both providing quality education. The city is also dotted with numerous private and public secondary schools, ensuring a wide range of educational opportunities for its residents. That ends our brief talk of Ogumashio. What are your thoughts concerning the city? Are you an indigenous of Ogumashio? Have you ever been to Ogumashio? Or do you have any favorite spots in the city? Let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestion for other youth patterns and city we should explore, I would love to hear those too. Remember to follow us for more episodes of our Omoyu Abetata series as we keep exploring universities and towns. Omoyu Abetata. Omoyu Abetata.